God bless you, ma. Please introduce yourself and tell us what God has done for you. My name is Chinyeri of Formata, all the way from Lagos. And I'm not going to say anything here. Allah is a worship, my God. Just one minute. I almost let go. I felt like I just couldn't take a lie. And I'm on my trouble is in me there. The parations weigh me down. He had me closed. So I wouldn't let go. God mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. So I'm here. So I'm here today. Because God kept me. I'm alive today. Only because of His grace. He has kept me. God kept me. God of God of now, now kept me. So I want to let go. I got my jogging man, no toto jogging man, he a jogging man, and you see. I got my jogging man, no toto jogging man, he a jogging man, and you see. Imara man is so good. Is it Imara man is so good? A quaggy worry, prophet is it? Where they win him on the Church, you are both one and God of Nana. Where they win him on the door. Hallelujah. Don't mind me because tomorrow I'll be on my way to Lagos. I came all the way to Lagos just to give this testimony. This is seven years. I gave birth to CS in Lagos. And after the CS, my child was okay. Pain started from nowhere. We began suffering that pain till three months. When my beloved auntie here said, no, that this pain is too much, that I should come down to Joss. I said, Joss? She said, yes. That was how I found my way to Joss. This woman here, God, you know what I understand in this world? That God will not come down to help you. He will look for someone to help you. This woman here, I can't say A without calling her name. Because she stood right in front of me she never gave up when i came to joss she was going from here to here with her own heart and money taking me places finally i found my way to mountain where i met this man of god i do call him prophet Eze. he prayed the pain was still there they gave me water the pain was still there then the last time I came, he said, No. That was what he said. Although I was not myself, this is the way I used to walk. She is my backbone then. I can walk and I can go places to minister to God. Because I told God one thing, if I should come out alive, then I'll go places to worship him. And that is what I do in Lagos. So when he said no, that there is something in this stomach that needs to be operated, he said, man of God, buy a break. Because all the prophets and pastors that I know said if I should go on, on a, another operation, that I will not come out alive. So there is nothing you want to tell me now. I was saying it in my mind that I will accept to go on a second operation. He said, okay. It's as if he knew I was doubting. He told them to give him the sum of 20,000 naira from the tithe. And he raised it up and said, he's using this money to buy my life. 
imagine that is authority that is using this money to buy my life that anything should happen to me that they should hold him prophet as a responsible for a man like that to make that statement I told myself it's like this man is a real man of God my auntie took me down we went to the first hospital and they told me ah sister we're going to operate you and bring out your intestine for three months where we will watch and see I said go on a break I don't I called the man of God I said look at what they said he said he's God they did not tell him so I said okay we moved straight to general hospital where we stayed there they called jute we stayed there the process started everybody was like they want to say because it got at a, a stage when i eat it comes out from my private parts when i eat it comes out from my private parts so all the doctors and nurses and those practicing that surprised they said for their years of practice they have not seen such and everybody became so interested in my case I said, well, this is the God of Prophet Eze doing this work. That is what I keep on saying because I have lost all hope. I said, even though I did not make it, just take care of my child. I always tell my auntie, take care of my baby. But I believe one thing, that if this man of God could say the thing that he's buying my life, that I should hold him responsible. I said, I'm having strength to talk. Is there doing test upon test? They go x-ray upon x-ray. This doctor will come and say, I will pay. Let us go on x-ray. They won't see anything. Let us go on scan. They won't see anything. All they are saying is there is something, there is something, there is something. But the man of God said, God don't want to reveal it to them. But they, they must bring out something in the stomach. So we are saying fibroid. So we are saying another thing. Oh and behold on the D-Day. When I entered the theater. Hey, I saw 15 doctors just on my case. I said, wow. That this man of God, I normally call him Prophet Eze. That this man of God is, in fact, is something else. I entered, everybody said no, that they are interested. And before that operation, Jude went on strike. But they said, no, you long lady, you are remaining. We will, do your, you will handle your case. And when I entered, they started asking me questions and all that. My auntie came, she was outside. So later, they started operations from morning till evening. The doctor, when I woke up, the doctor said that when they opened my stomach, they could not find anything. They checked and checked. He said, no, that something keep on talking to him. That something keep on talking to him. That I should open the stomach and bring out everything in the stomach. So when they raised, he said when they raised the intestine, because the intestine has rotten, they have caught, that was why I can, the food cannot digest. They just have to bring it up, and ho and behold, they saw a towel in my stomach. They saw a towel in my stomach, and the man said okay that he would take it from here that he was the one that sealed up my intestine to make sure i am okay when i came out my auntie was telling me that he called the god of prophet easy and he told him one thing he said just hold the sticker and declare a word that your sister will come out praise master jesus Church appreciates this God of Rita Bai for this wonderful testimony. It can only be God. You know, the word of the Lord through the son of the prophet is always true and powerful. And the Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away, but not an iota of God's word will return to him without accomplishing that which it was sent to do. Appreciate this God of Rita Bai. Please Bye. let her explain that. Let her explain the tower. What is there on the screen? Please, do you see my daughter's intestine that was cut off? This is the life tower that was brought out. When I saw her, I didn't even recognize her. So, all of them that God is giving testimony, when I was telling you that that's one of my daughter, I said I put my call online. 
event happened to her. Now, church, can you see the same woman? Many people were saying Arenjiba. Look at the Arenji woman. Look at her. Look at it. And you go to Jude and inquire. The date is here, right? So don't blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Are you getting me? You don't blaspheme against the Holy Ghost? May please take hundred dollars like there and give to her. Are you getting me? You know now we don't give naira, we give dollar. A full dollar is I think is thirty five thousand something. So we walk in dollars, we don't walk in naira. <laughs> Amen. Congratulations, my daughter. Use it for transportation to go back. God bless you. You see, I never knew. I was shocked when they told me on Wednesday that uh, she's here. I never called her for a testimony, no. I only, if you believe, you believe, I want to believe, believe. I was shocked when the sister said she's here to give her testimonies. There is three people that died on the mountain. I, lay, I breathed in their ears. I had their coming to give their testimonies. All the testimonies are there. If it is miracle or science and water, no prophet on earth that God have used Rita by the way he can use others. I, I hear him. I do what? I hear him. I hear him. Ezekiel 2 2. He spoke to me. I hear him. <laughs> 